the easiest way to tell the difference between respiratory acidosis and respiratory alkalosis is to look at your respiratory rate. So if the patient is breathing slowly or they have a condition that causes them to retain carbon dioxide, then you're thinking respiratory acidosis. And so that would be stuff like COPD or a patient with a neuromuscular disease such as myasthenia gravis who's not breathing very much because their muscles are tired or they may even have a spinal defect which causes them to shift their spine and their lungs to not fully expand so they would retain carbon dioxide. If you're thinking respiratory alkalosis on the other hand, you're thinking conditions where patients are breathing really, really fast. And so this would be something like a pulmonary embolism or a patient that has hypoxemia from uh, elevation or a patient that just recently had a pneumonia and they're breathing really quickly. Those are all things that can cause respiratory alkalosis, but the main differentiator is going to be your respiratory rate.